हेलो एवरीवन सॉल्व बनाते हैं न्यूमेरिकली ऑन कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल नाउ इन दिस न्यूमेरिकल वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल लेट इस लुक एट देम वन बाय वन अज्यूमिंग दैट अ कंपनी पेज टैक्स एट द रेट ऑफ फोर्टी Calculate after tax cost of capital in the following cases. Now here there are five different cases given to us, and in each case we have to calculate the specific cost of capital. In first case, 8.5 percent preference share are sold at par, redeemable after five years, which means the maturity period is five years. They are redeemable at par, which means there is no difference between face value and redemption value or the net proceed, and the rate of dividend is 8.5 percent. Second, a perpetual bond with 8 percent rate of interest. Perpetual bond means it has got no maturity period, and the rate of interest on that bond is 8 percent. So there is no par value, face value, redemption value, maturity period. So a simple formula would be used over here. Third. A ten-year thousand rupees eight percent debenture. The par value is thousand rupees. Rate of interest is eight percent. Maturity period is ten years. This is sold at nine fifty rupees. The the net proceed is nine fifty rupees, and the par value is thousand rupees. Less four percent underwriting commission. What is this underwriting commission? It is nothing but issuing cost. The cost incurred while issuing those debentures to the general public that also has to be considered while calculating the cost of debentures and how that is to be done that we'll see shortly. Next, a preference share sold at hundred rupees. So the par value is hundred, which is again sold at hundred itself with nine percent dividend and redemption price of hundred and ten and redemption period of seven years. So it's a preference share. Having face value hundred, net proceed hundred and ten, period of maturity is seven seven years, and the rate of dividend is nine percent. Fifth, an ordinary share selling at a market price of one twenty rupees and current dividend of nine rupees. So the market price is one twenty, current dividend is nine rupees, and growth rate expected to grow at eight percent. So price is given, rate of dividend is given, or rather dividend in rupees is given. And growth rate of increase in the dividend is also given to us. By using all these, in these five cases, we have to calculate the specific costs of capital. Let us see them one by one. First case, cost of preference capital. We know the formula: preference dividend plus par value minus net proceed upon number of years maturity upon par value plus net proceed upon two. This is the formula. By heart, this formula, guys. Learn this formula, anyways. So it is preference dividend PD face value is P net proceed NP and as n is the number of years. So we know the uh, rate of dividend is 8.5 percent. Par value face value 100 100 same. So it becomes zero. This value becomes zero. 100 plus 100 upon 2 it becomes 200 upon 2 is again 100. So it is 8.5 upon 100, which means it is 8.5 percent. Since par value and net proceeds are not provided, it is assumed to be Rupees hundred. Your par value and face value is assumed to be hundred rupees because your both are same. So it doesn't matter what value you take over here. Okay. So this is how we have calculated the preference capital cost, and it comes to eight point five. Now cost of debt. That is the cost of debentures. Like we said, tax rate uh, formula is very simple. One minus t. These are perpetual bonds because perpetual. It is perpetual. So there is no maturity period. And nothing is mentioned about the par value or redemption value or nothing or net proceeds. So we are going to use a simple formula: one minus t into r. R is the rate of interest and t is the tax rate. So KD is one minus forty percent. Since tax rate is forty percent, so we use it as one minus zero point four zero multiplied by zero point zero eight. So it comes to point six zero multiplied by point zero eight. That is zero point zero four. That is four point eight percent. You do it in your notebook. You'll understand it in a better way. Yes, so that's your cost of debentures, perpetual bonds. Cost of debt. Now, in this case, what was there? A thousand rupees debenture was sold at nine fifty rupees. Remember? Yes. 
formula is i plus p minus np upon n upon p plus np upon 2 p is face value of power value np is net proceed i is the rate of interest and n is the number of years now your interest was 8% of power value 1000 rupees so interest becomes 80 rupees plus power value p is 1000 minus now you should wonder that it, is, it was issued at 950 it was said that the net proceeds are 950 rupees then why have we taken 910 rupees over here if you go to the question and look at the proceedings received were 950 rupees and not 910 but we have taken it as 910 the reason is because they have mentioned a 4% underwriting commission underwriting charges that is 4% of your power value so 4% of 1000 rupees is 40 rupees that also has to be deducted from the net proceed so 950 rupees is the net proceed minus the underwriting commission it becomes 910 rupees 950 minus 40 is 910 so that is used over here and upon 10 since it is for a period of maturity period is of 10 years so upon 10 and same thing over here 1000 plus 910 upon 2 so it becomes 80 plus solving this you get 9 upon 955 so it's 89 upon 955 is 0.0931 that comes up to 9.31 percent this is pre-tax cost of debenture for post-tax cost yes this is pre-tax cost of debenture now what they have asked us to calculate is the post-tax cost so for deducting the tax element what we for post tax cost of debt, we will have to multiply it by the tax rate. 1 minus tax rate, that is 1 minus 0.4, multiplied by the cost of debt, we get it as 0.0558, that is 5.58%. Yes, this is the post tax cost of debentures. Now, cost of preference shares. Cost of preference share, KP formula is PD plus P minus NP upon N upon P plus NP upon 2. Dear all, you have to buy hard these formulae. You don't have an option. Okay. Just learn these formulae because they are they are very simple in a way. If you look at it systematically, they are simple and then you would be through with everything. Okay. Wherein PD is preference dividend, P is face value, NP is net proceeds, N is the number of years. So you put the values in, in this case about the preference shares. Rate of dividend was 9 rupees of, out of 100. So that's 9 plus. <coughs> 110 minus 100 upon 7 upon 110 plus 100 upon 2. 10.42 105 is 0 0.992 that becomes 9.92 percent. Dear all, I want you to solve this because I cannot show it each and every step over here for calculations. I want you to solve it in your notebook. Then it would become even more clear to you as in how the calculations are done. And even in your examinations, your calculators are allowed so, I want you to do it simultaneously with me and solve it in your notebook. That's your cost of preference share, 9.92%. And last, they have said the cost of equity has to be calculated. Since they have given us the dividend per share, they, are, they have given us the market price per share, they have given us the growth rate per share. So, cost of equity becomes dividend per share upon market price per share plus growth rate. Now, this growth rate is in percentage form, that was 8%. Dividend per share was 9 rupees, market price of the dividend is 120. So 9 upon 120 plus 0 0.08, this is 8%. So it comes to 0 0.08, 0 0.08, okay. So when you divide it, the total becomes 0 0.115. When you solve it, you will get 15.5%. That's your cost of equity capital. I hope you have understood this. See, unless and until you will solve it on your own, you are not going to get a clear idea about it. Yes, so I expect everyone to please solve these numericals in your notebook on your own simultaneously with the video. If you have not understood anything, go back to the video again, see it again and then solve it again. Yes, thank you.